Then tell me about the founding of um, the Guardians of Mill Creek Park, please. Okay, Guardians of Mill Creek Park was founded after um, I found the public records. I requested public records from the executive director of Mill Creek Park, and these showed that all of the shallow, slant-drilled natural gas wells, which are producing today, had their deep drilling rights. That is, the right to drill lower, deeper into the earth, into the Utica Shale, sold to Chesapeake, the fracking company of Oklahoma. And this was done in secret, no public knowledge, from June 2011 until October 2011, the public records show. But we were unable to get the public records through the Ohio Sunshine Laws until February of 2012. So immediately people were concerned about Mill Creek Park because we didn't know could each one of these um, wells be fracked, which they can't individually. They're all in residential backyards or city land that abuts the um, park that isn't large enough for a frack pad. However, the place that is large enough is the abandoned Idora Park land, and that's right on the park. It's right catty corner to the um, Lanterman's Mill, Working Grist Mill, which is Mill Creek Park. And if this was to be where they were gonna frack, we won't have a Mill Creek Park. It would be 24-7 industrial activity with this, you know, ground level ozone coming out of the wellhead day in, day out. The fracking earthquakes, the chemicals, the evaporation pit, or storage tanks of horrible, you know, flow back and fracking chemicals. It would be an industrialized area. Plus the Idora neighborhood, the Idora and historic park neighborhood has had a resurgence and YNDC has reclaimed many a uh, you know questionable property and they've sold homes to uh, young new families and homeowners first time homeowners this would be just egregious not to mention um, the Iron Roots farm is right up the street from the Idora 1, Idora 2 and Idora 3 wells whose deep drilling rights are all owned by Chesapeake, and our most recent public records show that they are flipping these leases to Total E&P of France. So this is unacceptable. And all the, all the chemicals in that ground level ozone are carcinogenic, correct? Oh, absolutely, yeah. This all involves the mix of, uh, you know, toluene and benzene and xylene and the strange chemicals that they use to frack shale and explode this shale. And uh, what comes back up the wellhead is radioactive because shale is a form of uranium and it's called T-norm, technically enhanced naturally occurring radioactive materials because these chemicals react with the uh, radioactivity of the shale and this is what flowback water is and it comes back up and it either has to be injected in an injection well far below the earth so we don't all get cancer from it or disposed in other ways. And our state is so deregulated that they think that they can process this stuff and evaporate it out and then spread what's left in our landfills, which is a very dangerous assumption. Um, it's just terrible. This, this energy source should not be tapped when the waste product it causes, and I mean thousands and thousands of gallons of flowback water, maybe millions of gallons per the life of a well, cannot be safely disposed of. It's as bad as the nuclear industry. So we need sustainable sources of energy. You know, develop the wind, the solar, the sustainable biofuels, not this dangerous fossil fuel stuff that should be left down there. And the most insulting thing is the propaganda from the industry is that this is going to create energy independence for the United States, and they are burning off the natural gas 
the product they're interested in is the butane, propane, ethane that they can export to China so they can make plastics. Okay, thank you. Okay.